So last night on Twitter, right before I went to bed, I ran across an interesting article concerning Mickey, the main hero in Nostalgia Vibe, a game I'm looking forward to. Uh, it's currently being shipped to my house. Um, that the fact that she will no longer have panties, that because apparently Square Enix were so afraid that Westerners like us are going to be criticizing this game so much because of a, uh, I think she's 16 years old, having panties that we can actually look up. They decided to increase her panty size into quote unquote granny panties or diapers of sort. I'll have everything on the description in case you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about of sort. Because the first thing is like, wait, Mickey having granny panties or diapers, what the hell is this all about? Yeah, but anyway, supposedly Square Enix is actually doing this to the fear of criticism over to the West. And it's not as like the US version is getting this game. The, the Japanese version is getting this game. Is getting this game the way it is. But you're saying, how the hell is like a pair of panties going to be such a big deal? Yeah, this all go, goes back to censorship. Even though this is like the slightest form of censorship, it's still censorship. But this is something more to it than that. But anyway, if you go on forums and everything else, you'll see a lot of of, of Japanese gamers just slandering the hell out of, out of the U.S. Saying foreigners are shit. The foreigners can't, can't go fuck themselves. The foreigners should get a different version. Let the different version be altered, not our version. You know, so on and so forth. And it's like, holy shit. <laughs> it's like, man, they really are mad about this. And this is the Japanese version of the game. Now, I've rarely heard, if not ever heard, of a Japanese game getting censored. Because over there, all their, all their stuff is raw. <laughs> Very raw. You see, underage kids going through experiences where some underage kids shouldn't. And when it gets lo localized to the U.S., then they're uh, automatically like five years older. <laughs> like uh, 13 year olds all of a sudden 18 years old in the US. That's odd to me. But, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's how censorship goes. In a way, censorship kind of impresses me how much they try to cover it up. I still don't like it, but it's kind of impressive in a way. So yeah, it, it, it's like, it's like, holy crap, man. I made some vi few videos about Fire Emblem Phase and censorship, so you guys know how I feel about it. I really don't like it. It, it, it pretty much blocks the original purpose of what the artist and the writer intended for the story to be. I mean, if they wanted that particular person to be that age to experience that kind of thing, then it should stay that way rather than saying, oh, you know what, they're 18 now instead of 13. You know? But anyway, back on topic about the whole panties pantsuits, however you want to call it. Now, to me, this, now, now, it's, it kind of irritates me because they're getting complaints from people who aren't even, even going to sort of kind of remotely maybe touch the game at all, and that they're ruining the experience of gamers like me, you know? There was a time where video games were about the gamers, you know? And the gamers could give two shits about what a game looks like and what kind of situation it looks like i'm sure sir, there might be some events where it gets too real but then again that, that would make the story a lot more impact than it should but anyway getting back into the whole panties pantsu things i feel like this might be the evolution not evolution of panties i mean if there's ever there is an evolution of panties I, I would be very curious about it but uh this is uh evolution of of censorship and what i mean by that is like it could start off as a pair of panties and then it could change a person's outfit then it could ch go on to change a person's character and character their whole personality and everything then it can change to the whole plot and before you know it you might actually get like a different version of the game of what the writer intended and not it, not only that it'll disappoint you it'll disappoint the writer as well because that is not the, the uh, idea that they wanted to, to convey yeah it really is upset. I mean, that really irks me. Like, they're getting so many complaints from people who aren't even going to be playing the game. So why are you going to be, why are you going to be messing up our experience because you feel like that everyone else is going to appreciate you? Not everyone's going to appreciate you. They might be doing this for the the, um, the publicity. They might do it for the fame. They might do it because they know as soon as something gets altered, everyone's going to be pointing fingers at them. I don't know what that reason is. But you shouldn't hinder our experience just because you think it's going to be the best for us. You know, if anything, really, you could screw uh, uh, over game companies by doing this. You know, because if they buy my products, how how can I get their money back? You know. So, yeah, it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, think about Dead or Alive, 
Extreme 3, the game that, that just came out not that long ago, is not going to come to you as 2 from fear of Western criticism, Western backlash. You know? I mean, if a guy wants to buy Dare Alive, the Dare Alive Extreme 3 just to fap his ass off, who the hell cares? Because that that's the money that he earned and he wanted to spend it on. Okay? It's not like if what what he does is going to affect us. It's not. I mean, I mean, and and again, and again, it has nothing to do with people being perverted. I mean, some some people might be can be perverted for buying games and all that other good stuff, but that's their money. That's their life. Let, let them do what they want. It's not like their life is going to affect me. It's not like it's going to kill me. It's going to turn me into a pervert or anything. Oh, and the, and the whole panties thing. It's fine to be a, a little pervy, like I said, with Fire and Fates. It's fine with you to be a little pervy, but like, you know, doing upskirt shots and everything. And, you know, just laugh and joke about it and everything. Because that's who we are. You know, we're not we're not perfect creatures. We'll actually have some a messed up sense of humor. But it's like different from being like an actual pervert where you like are buying games solely just to see skimpy girls. Or every time you see a attractive girl in real life, then you'll just want to fap when you get home, you know? It, it's, it's entirely different. So uh, I'm just I'm just hoping the video game developers have the balls, hopefully, to just not worry about backlash no more. I mean, it's about the gamers. The gamers don't really care that much about what's in the games. You know? If one of the characters I liked throughout the whole series, he, he should turn out to be an asshole later, I would still want that because that would show how, that I want to kill him now in the game. But <laughs> but it would show how, how, how much the story I impacted from my character doing that certain not action, you know what I mean? So I'm just hoping this ends. This might not end. If anything, this could get worse. I'm making this video just so I can get the word out there about censorship. It, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. And I want you, that particular person who's looking at this video right now, to spread the word about this. This needs to stop because your voice can actually be a lot more powerful than it looks. And don't you ever think just because you might not be as famous and you might not have as much publicity, you might not have enough influence over anyone else, that doesn't mean that your voice can't get out there. Every voice helps. Even if you're not the most famous person out there, you can actually make a difference. You. You're just as important as anyone else. No one is superior, no one's inferior. You are important. So that's pretty much all I really got to say about this, about this. You guys know how I feel, but I, well, I just said it in the video. So let, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this whole thing. Are you guys, are you guys upset that pantsuits are going to be turned into the diapers? I will say this much. I'm glad they didn't change Fiori's outfit. Even though it may look ridiculous, <laughs> it was kind of ridiculous. I kind of like that in a sort of way. Yeah, that's just me being pervy right there. I kind of like that. I'm just glad that they didn't decide to fill in all the areas where it exposes her body. Thank God. So, you'll see. Anyway, guys, that's how I feel. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this. Are you guys happy about this change? Are you ha glad about this? Are you going to be supporting censorship? Are you going to be rebelling against censorship? Let me know in the comments below. And I like always subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out. And I will be doing a playthrough of Starship 5, so I'm looking forward to that game too. So until then, guys, see you guys next time.